from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. More groups of people will become eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Henrico soon. The University of Richmond names a new president and growing food insecurity in the county. We'll have details about those stories in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, March 5th, 2021, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, if you are among the thousands of people who qualify for COVID-19 vaccinations in the portions of Phase 1B that have not yet become eligible for them, your day is coming soon. The Richmond and Henrico Health Districts will open vaccine eligibility and availability to the rest of the phase, which includes people 16 to 64 who have pre-existing conditions, as well as grocery store workers, public transit workers, and food agriculture and manufacturing workers, among others, sometime later this month. That's according to RHHD nurse manager Amy Popovich, who spoke with press yesterday. She also said that the districts will begin registering people in those portions of 1B the same day that they announce expansion into that portion of the phase. First vaccinations of that group then will occur just a few days later. Now for those people who fall within that 16 to 64 group with pre-existing conditions, most can expect to be vaccinated at partner sites of the health districts, such as primary care facilities or pharmacies, according to Popovich. That could change later, but initially that's the plan. Officials locally are continuing to make calls and send emails today to register more seniors for the three mass vaccination events planned on March 6th, 8th, and 10th. That's tomorrow, Monday, and Wednesday, at which they'll vaccinate a total of 12,000 seniors. The March 8th event will provide the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine, while the other two will offer the Pfizer vaccine. If you are called and offered a slot at the March 8th event, but you don't want the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you can decline without losing your spot in line. You can read much more about the vaccination process right now on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking COVID-19 and COVID-19 vaccination. The University of Richmond has named its new president. He is Kevin Halleck. He will come to the school from Cornell University, where he is currently serving as Dean and Professor of Strategy and Business Economics at the school's College of Business. He'll join UR in time for the coming academic year, which begins in August. And he also will serve as an economics professor in the Robbins School of Business. Halleck is a graduate of the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, and he holds two graduate degrees from Princeton. He will replace current UR President Ronald Crutcher, who has served in the role for six years and who announced last year that he would be retiring by mid-2022 at the latest. Well, as the pandemic wears on, food insecurity has become a major concern for a number of Henrico residents, even in zip codes where you might not expect that. Today on HenricoCitizen.com, contributing journalist Dina Weinstein takes a look at how local groups, including churches, and volunteer organizations as well as the local government are trying to provide food for those who need it. It's part one of a two-part series. You can find it on our website by clicking on community. A 23-year-old Henrico man received a five-year jail sentence in circuit court last week after pleading guilty to five counts of using a communication system to solicit a minor and five counts of possession of child pornography. David Williams was sentenced by Circuit Court Judge John Marshall. Upon his eventual release, he'll be placed on supervised probation and required to register as a sex offender anywhere he lives or works. A child in Central Virginia has died from complications of a chronic health condition and COVID-19, according to the Virginia Department of Health, which announced the news yesterday. The agency provided no further details about the child. It was the first reported death of a child younger than 10 in the state who had COVID-19. Nationally, there have been about 260 deaths reported among children and teens younger than 17 with COVID. Henrico Schools will host its next Life Ready Expo, Arts and Communication, on March 9th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The event is the last in this year's series. It's designed to expose students to possible career paths where they can visit virtual rooms to talk with employers from across the region who represent a variety of career opportunities. 
I'll actually be participating in this one, so check it out. You can find a link by visiting our site, HenricoCitizen.com, and clicking under News and then under Education to find this article. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County's COVID-19 Emergency Rental Assistance, providing assistance for those who've experienced economic impact related to the virus, such as job loss or furlough. Applications are available at henrico.us backslash DSS or by calling 501-5294.